Okay, I wanted to quickly show the power board that I'm building for my one kilowatt wind turbine. Um, I really don't want to use batteries of any kind. I just want to use the grid, or tie into the grid. Um, since these uh, Sun G 22 to 60 volt inverters seem to blow up when they dump, uh, at least when you exceed 100 volts, um, I'm going to try running a Xantrex C40 as a diversion controller and it will dump to the dump load resistor. That's a 3 ohm 1500 watt uh, resistor. So the C40 is going to be paralleled in with the grid tie inverter. I have the dump load set at about 56 volts which is a little underneath the 60 volt uh, maximum before this dumps and there's nothing hooked up to its dump load. So basically I'm just going to use the C40 as a, a dump loader which should protect that grid tie inverter. So to come into the rectifier the C40 will be in line with the grid tie inverter. The other beautiful thing about this is if it works like I think it's going to uh, when it dumps, it will just add the dump load as resistance and it will keep feeding the grid instead of dumping 100% to the dump load. So then I've got the uh, power outlet and a 30 amp disconnect. And I went ahead and got a blade type uh, fuse disconnect instead of a circuit breaker. That way I wouldn't have any problems with reverse feeding. Um, I'd heard that the uh, GFCI's had an issue with that, so just stay away from breakers altogether and just use a blade fuse. So, in a nutshell, that's it. Uh, I just have to make up the wires for the dump load and then run about 60 foot of uh, 12 2 with a ground out to uh, a little building that I'm going to build to put this in. So, I'm going to basically stick this right next to the wind turbine base since the wind turbine is about 80 foot from my house. I really didn't want to run uh, uh, DC all the way to the house. I'd rather run the AC. So this will be in a sealed little, basically a little building big enough for me to walk into and turn around and about three foot off the ground. So it should be sealed, moisture free. So that's it. And if the weather holds out, hopefully I should have this thing up in the yard turbine up and everything working in about two weeks. Alright, thanks.